Hello, in this problem we have a piecewise function and we're going to graph it, we're going to find the domain, and we're going to find the range. So I'm going to show you how I do it and hopefully it is helpful. So solution. So we'll start by drawing the y-axis and the x-axis. So there's x, there's y. Okay, so just a rough sketch. And let's start by um, graphing this, this one here. So the trick is whenever you have a piecewise function like this and you have a strict inequality, so if you have like a less than or a greater than, you're gonna have a hole, okay? And if you have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're gonna have a, a solid dot, okay? It's gonna be filled in, okay? Um, you can call it an open circle or a closed circle. I like to call them holes. So we're gonna have a hole here. And so to find the Y value of the hole, you basically take this negative one and you put it here where the X is. Now you're not supposed to do that, right? When you plug in negative one to the function, you're supposed to look here, but we're just breaking the rules just to find the hole. So I'm gonna put the negative one here. It's gonna be negative two plus three is one. So you have a hole at one comma one, a negative one comma one, right? X is negative one, Y is one. So we'll go left one up one and we have a little hole, okay? Now we can draw the rest of the line. Now this line has a positive slope. That means it's gonna look like this. It's just it's gonna go this way. So in order to find the x-intercept of the line, we can set this piece equal to zero, right? Because this is the y value. To find the x-intercept, you set y equal to zero. Going pretty quick here. That's negative 1.5. Boom. So that's this one here. Recap what we just did, because I did it pretty quickly. So first we wanted to find, first we're aware that there's a hole. You know there's a hole whenever you have a strict inequality. So you take this number and you plug it in there. You're not supposed to do that, we're breaking the rules. So we did that work here. We plugged in the negative one for the x. We got one, that's the y value for the hole. And then the x value is negative one. Then we realize that it has a positive slope so we know it's gonna go up like this. So we have to find the x-intercept. So you take the whole thing, which is your y, and you set it equal to zero. Remember, to find any intercept, you set the other one equal to zero. To find the x-intercept, you set y equal to zero. To find the y-intercept, you set x equal to zero. We got negative three halves, which is really negative 1.5, so there it is. Now we get to graph this one. This one has a negative slope, and we can just plug in the number this time. So I can actually write f of negative one. So you can't write that here, because that's not correct, right? You're not supposed to plug in negative one, so this is just like scratch work to find the hole. This is actually evaluating the function. This is actually correct. So if you put f of negative one here and you're doing this for like school or something, you probably would lose points. That's why I do it without actually writing f. So this would be three minus negative one, so this is four. So negative one comma four is gonna be our point. So at negative one, we go up four. One, two, three, four, put a dot. This has a negative slope, so we need to figure out where it crosses, right? So it's gonna be going down. So to find the y-intercept, we can plug in zero. So we get three, so it's gonna cross here. And to find the x-intercept, we set the whole thing equal to zero. All right, subtract three, divide by negative one, or just add the x. Okay, that's, let me just do that a little bit better, because I want it roughly to look okay, so I don't have graph paper here, so one, two, three, there we go. So I'm just gonna make it dotted, and then I'll fill it in. I'm writing at an angle here, because I'm recording, so it's a little bit harder to graph And then this starts here. There we go. And that would be the correct graph. So to find the, um, make sure you don't see that there. There's no line starts here. To find the domain is all the X values that lead to Y values. Every single X value here is gonna give you a Y value. No matter what X value I pick, it's gonna give me a Y value. Even this one, right? It's gonna give me a Y value here. So the domain is negative infinity to infinity. As far as the range though, so the range, the range is all the possible y values. So this goes down forever, so it'd be negative infinity all the way to, and it even includes these y values, right? Because there's a y value here, even though there's a hole, all the way to four. And you include the four because there's a solid filled in hole. So it'd be negative infinity to four, and you include it so you use a bracket. If it was an open circle here or a hole, you would use a parenthesis. 
That was a lot of information. These are hard problems. They take a lot of time to get good at, but hopefully um, this example has helped you and then you can do other ones. Good luck.